there are a number of different types of glasses. Um, the shape and the form uh, determine uh, quite a lot about how you appreciate the whisky that, that's in that. Um, probably the most common one is just the straightforward tumbler, which uh, uh, most people have a straight whisky in. You can put ice in there as well, which is a, a very useful big surface area, so you get a lot of volatiles that, that come out and you can really smell the whisky quite well, but the smell is immediate and it doesn't concentrate uh, the aromas of the, of the whisky. So it's not very good for assessing what a, what a uh, whisky will be like. Um, if you want to do that, you have a glass like this, which has a cover on top, but that keeps the volatiles in inside. It also has a wide base, so we can swirl the whisky around. That helps the volatility of the congeners within there. And, and a narrow uh, top, which concentrates it. Um, so when you nose it, um, you get an immediate uh, mixture of the congeners. You don't want it to be too tall, um, otherwise you get a separation out. Some of the, the heavier elements stay at the bottom, some of the lighter ones come out at the, the top. Um, sometimes you can put, have a stem on that, that's useful because then you don't heat the whisky up. Um, Temperature and uh, volatility go together uh, with uh, whisky congeners. Um, so that's why um, some people prefer ice, some people don't prefer ice, because it does change the flavour of the, of the whisky. But with a stem, um, you don't, your hand doesn't uh, change the, uh, the temperature of the, uh, of the whisky. Once again, it has that tulip shape um, that allows a larger surface area, but then it has a narrow neck which keeps the aromas together and concentrates them to, together um, and you can appreciate the whisky using a glass like that. And this is the highball glass um, which obviously takes a much larger uh, volume. It's great for mixtures, cocktails etc. Um, I personally always prefer um, my whiskies mixed with things. I, I'm not a great uh, fan uh, personally of having it neat, it's just too strong for me. Um, but it also is quite narrow so it keeps the, keeps the uh, uh, aromas in, in the glass so you can uh, appreciate them. Um, because you're diluting it, that actually throws congeners out of the out of solution. You're essentially lowering the concentration of alcohol uh, within the whiskey. Uh, that throws out the, uh, the um, volatiles, uh, the aroma compounds, um, and so it really, really changes uh, the intensity of, of the aromas. Um, and it's very useful to have a long glass like that because the aromas will just literally fall out of the glass. So it's useful um, and it's fun to have, you know, have different mixtures, have different temperatures, play around with that with, in different glasses. Mm -hmm.